weren't expecting that song, were you? How are you? You're back in the kitchen with Tanny, and we're going to make a butternut squash soup because they were on sale. I knew they were on sale at the curb market the other day, and they were still there, so I had to buy three. So let me sit you right here on what is really you're sitting on. I'm so professional. The chia seed jar. See? Let me see. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay, so here's what you're going to have. When I, um, here's what it looks like. I've got some prep going ahead of time, and you'll be very impressed with that. See there? Like a professional. So, I was showing this on Instagram, and somebody was like, um, I don't have a Vitamix. I've got a Ninja. What you can do if you're going to put it in your Ninja or a different kind of blender, you can still do this. Use really hot water instead of room temperature water. And the Vitamix or... Blend Tech has to be a blender. An Omni 3 will do it. Um, has to be a blender. In that, you're going to blend it until it is warm to touch. Don't kill everything in there or, you know, you're, you're sacrificing the raw. So what you want to do when you have your butternut squash, here's how you work with those. You basically chop off the top and the bottom so it could sit, you know, tallways. I don't do this sitting there. I'll hold it in my hand and I will take my peeler, which again, with this, I'm constantly promoting this thing. This peeler right here, bad mamma jamma. It will peel anything and it goes back, forth, back, forth, and it never needs sharpening. So, hold on a sec. So, what you're going to do is you're going to peel that and get just skim off the, the outside. And then you're going to sit it up on its tall end, and you're going to take a big knife. You know what I mean? A big, heavy knife. Put it on the top and push through. Okay, so then it's going to come open in two. What's going to happen is at the very bottom of the bulbous type part of the butternut squash, you know, because they go like this. So down here in the, this part, it's going to have a little bit of seeds like a pumpkin. Just scoop that out with a spoon or a little spatula with serrated edges works good. So that basically you have, and then you're going to chop it up till you have pieces about like this, see? And then I don't even worry about like the little pulp in there. I leave that. I think it gives it some moisture. So that's how you do that. So you've prepared that. Here's what we're going to have. In the bottom of my Vitamix right now, I have the juice of one lime, and it was not that big. You could use lemon, but that's what I have. And then we're going to use... um. Let me give you some measurements. I think this should be about two cups of butternut squash. Also, if you don't have enough butternut squash, you could um, you could use some yellow squash in there too. You know, improvise. It makes it fun for you, right? So for right now, let's go with um, about two cups of butternut squash. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. We're going to put about um, about a cup of water. We're going to put um, one stalk celery. You like to see, don't you? Then I have this little, this was a small little onion. Look like this. Somebody asked me the other day. Well, I'll tell you that in a minute. So you put your little onion in there or to taste. Okay, in here I've got one... And we're going to adjust this at the end because I don't know how this is going to taste. This is just my guesstimate, okay? I have got one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of cumin dried, and then some pepper to taste. Crack, um, cracked pepper corn. I like these. I've been getting from um, Trader Joe's, and it's these little little mixed peppercorn. And these are like $1.99, which is very cheap. I don't know why it is pepper's high sometimes. Okay, so then we've got about... These are golden raisins. You could use dates, but I just didn't have any on hand. I need to go to Costco's. Um, about a palm full, okay? That's your sweetness. We've got about four tablespoons hulled hemp seeds, raw hulled hemp seeds. You could use avocado to give it a little bit different taste, but that could be your fat for the night. You could use, um, you could basically even use coconut meat. You could use, I don't know, two tablespoons of tahini if you like that. I don't digest that nut butter that well, so I don't use it that often, but you can. Okay, and then I'm going to just for fun throw in just a, like a handful of yellow squash. And we're going to see what this tastes like, and then I've got some little things to add to it, okay? Let's give 
give it a blend, shall we? Start out on kind of low so it doesn't blow all the goodies up to the top. <laughs> I would let this blend up until it is warm to touch okay let's see what it tastes like first because we might want to add something or even basically subtract like you could add other base ingredients if you need to subtract some wanginess or too sweetness so as you see that turns out very nice I like this. It has a bit of an after kick. You might want to back up a little bit on the red pepper flakes, and it might be cumin, but this is this is just right for me. If you like it a little bit spicy, like it doesn't burn your mouth, but it has a little bit of after bite. Very nice. Let's let it blend just a second. Let's see what time it is. Yes. to warm right now because y'all don't want to wait on that. So like, oh, did y'all see that? Only on the Tanny Raw show. Is that in my hair? No. Okay. So here we go. Very, very creamy and delicious. you all see that. This is beautiful. All the squashes can be used like this. And frankly, I can always find them on sale, which is awesome. Okay, so we've got the soup. Swirl it around and make it very beautiful. You know, how you plate things up for other people is a big deal. Not so much for yourself, but... Okay, on top of this, I would have really preferred to have um, a red bell pepper, but I don't have that. I have a green. Okay, don't be hating on me. I know these aren't all right, but there you go. I'm going to put it on there. And Or yellow even would have been better. These right here I use sometimes, especially if I start to feel like... Um, it's funny because sometimes if you feel dehydrated, it can be a sodium-potassium balance in your body and sometimes not even over sodium. It's your body trying to hold on to water because it's not getting enough. It's not having enough the right sodium-potassium balance. I find this stuff is very good. It's raw kelp with cayenne, okay? Organic raw kelp. This particular one says it's, it's farmed where... It is less toxic and all that, so you can investigate that, but um, here's what it looks like. So what we're going to do, this gives you a salty flavor and with a little bit of cayenne in there, it gives it an extra little kick, which I really like. This is what it looks like so far. And if you want some more goodies on here, I'll tell you what is a, a quick thing you can do. You take your carrots. Take the julienne cutter, okay? And you basically, first of all, you want to peel off the, I don't enjoy how the dirty outside of carrots taste. I just don't. I'm not eating that. Okay, so, well, you can't see, but see, I'm just going to, let me just show you. Do y'all see how fast that makes the little noodlets on there? I wonder if some of these girls that are coming over to visit Christopher will taste some of my raw food and... I'll tell them I'll put them in good lighting. They'll be great on YouTube, and they could be famous, and I'll let them talk about teenage stuff within reason. I think they'd go for that. So let's see. Here's, here, here it is. Here's what we have. Look at that. Very hearty and delicious. Now, you don't even have to add the fat to that. You could, If you already had fat in the day, it's good without it. But this is very creamy, and it really is very satisfying. Do y'all see? 
I eat a lot of food, y'all, every day. And I, I really, I get adequate calories, but I don't calorie cram. I, I, I nutrient cram. You know what I mean? I get my nutrients every day. Raw plant material, you know, live food for a live body, right? It's really pretty outside. It was cold earlier, but now I'm going outside to play. I'm going to rake my leaves, and I'm going to trim my bushes, and I'm going to appreciate the fact that I can do that, and I'm going to do it with love, you know? And I'm going to try to squat every time I pick up the um, the limbs and get me some free free glute workout, you know? Neverland! Y'all ever do a little head bashing in the um, kitchen sink, you know?